What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Bleach. We are entering the Soul Society arc. I am very, very excited. Remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes as well as the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out that Patreon. Links down below. We are live on Twitch watching all these videos. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. It is such a vibe. Such a cool experience watching this live with you. So come on over, leave a follow, hang out. Such a great time. And if you guys could, please follow my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. I'm not going to waste any more time. Bleach episode 21. Let's do it. All right. Irregularities detect. Oh, is that like their alert system? The Western perimeter. Looks like they're already onto us. I love the title cards. I always say it. Oh, that's what they meant by keep going forward so you don't get stuck between our realm and the next one. And it like reaches out and tries to grab you. Ishida. Oh, that's the boy Chad. I mean, sometimes if you got a crazy outfit that's going to get entangled in between realms, you got to rip it off. Shout out, Chad. The cleaner. Of course. Of course we're on the day it's going to be cleaning us. Oh, it's going to be like one of those Indiana Jones moments. They barely make it. Ooh. Is she going to make a shield? I love the quick and direct access to her powers. Aura Hime coming in clutch. A training's already paying off. We've officially made it to Soul Society. I'm, li I'm literally like Ishigo and Chad. There's no way, Ishida. The drifting. Okay. The poorest air. Oh. I mean, it makes sense with what Byakuya was saying, but there definitely is a social hierarchy. Nobility, peasants, poor, you know. Just nonchalantly running right at them. You had to take Soul Society a little more seriously, Ichigo. Who in the hell? Are these all Soul Reapers? I won't lie, a lot of their designs look kind of gangster. Jidanbo. Of course he was. One of the four gates of Seraimon. Just to get inside the area in which we need to go to rescue Rukia, we already got a guard, our first fight. They don't care. They're going to go help out Ichigo. Got to square up on him right now. I respect the I respect the non-hesitation genuinely. When you fight it's one on one, so he's like respect the rules. I see. I see. So he's saying I will fight you, but let me just deal with Ichigo first. Multiple one on one fights. Dad said, fuck these rules. Ichigo's gonna be like, don't worry, guys, I got this. Alright. This will be one of our first real tests of Ichigo's strength. After his training. Especially after we saw him with Renji and Byakuya. He's asking him sincerely. She does funny. I love the guitar, man. I love this music. Look at that beautiful Zanpakuto. His fundamentals are drastically improved. That guitar just be hitting, man. Let's see you use Zangetsu. Let's get some action done. Gotta be the center of attraction. Did he dodge out of that? That was quite the attack. Jidanbo is very strong. Oh, no. Did he? There's no way he blocked that. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, you want to talk about manners and being polite and respectful. And it looks like we did it. Ten Strikes Festival. It's like our first test. I like the way they're animating this. We got to stop ten of his strikes. Just rapid fire barrage. Yeah, if I'm on the other side of that wall, I'm assuming Ichigo just got turned to smithereens. As he comes from the side. Based on his reaction, Ichigo is still there, just... Hey. We're built different. I did not realize how much of a power boost we'd already be getting, you know? A good point. Fighting for five days, especially against Kisuke, would definitely give you a good amount of experience. Be able to hone that natural talent. Yeah, let's see if you can... I love that, especially coming from Chad. The twofer? Man's getting red in the face. Look, look an opposite cross-eyed. Breaking out of his armor. That's how you know my man is flexing. Literally just like that, shattered to pieces. Or he may have to shield them from the from the rubble explosion. I like how the other Soul Reapers on the other side were like, hey, oh, I guess if the wall came down and Jidanbo's there, we don't got to deal with it. We're good. My man exponentially got stronger from that training arc. <laughs> Even Mr. Yoruishi isn't saying anything. Yeah, that's what happened. You slipped. Yeah, come to the realization, buddy. In one blow, too. <laughs> hey, say something. Honestly, I would be a little upset if he broke my axes as well, but I'm not going to be crying like this. Come on. Nice guy, Ichigo. That was mean of me. What a big heart. You're a great guy. You gonna let us in or? I like the self-awareness. Fair enough. It was the first time for everything. He's going to let us in. Grant your permission. I lost your leader. I like that. It's like a group activity. <laughs> Come on, Ishida. We know. We know it's the case. Come on. I like how John Bo's like cool with us now. Gotta be a heavy ass gate. Well, thank you for doing that, John Bo. Now, who is this? The way he's dressed makes him seem like a captain. Squad three. We've seen three captains so far. It is Ichimaru. He's one of them. A squad captain already pulling up, especially when the last one we saw was Bianquia. Uh, that was the end of the first episode? All right, this is the next episode 22, right where we left off. Ichimaru's right there. Even Mr. Yoruichi gave a little, you know, that's not a good sign. A squad captain's pulling up already. His sword looks insanely cool, especially the, the guard. Ooh, slash his arm. Oh my. So now he's not going to be able to hold the gate open anymore. That's kind of a dickish move. 
Jidan Bo's are... I love, I love the title cards. Jidan Bo's our new friend, man. Captain level strength is beyond imagination. That's a good power scaling level. Ichigo is league stronger than he was, but also captain strength is beyond imaginable, so... Oh, hell no. You should go immediately with the non-hesitation. Mr. Yoruichi is wanting to strongly advise against that. But Ichigo really doesn't give a fuck. I love the little bandage that just hangs off his non-hilt. Dead killed. So he's the one Byakuya and Renji went to go kill. So. Why is he dipping? Oh, he's going to wake it up. Oh, oh, is he going to hit him with a crazy thrust? Just this pressure. Shinso. Yeah, that's a crazy thrust. It's like a gun, a spirit gun. Shout out Yusuke. And it's physically, it gets longer. Pause. I like a lot of the Zanpakdos, I really do. And just like that, we're back on the other side of this godforsaken gate. I want Mr. Yoroichi, who seems to clearly know his knowledge about soul sighting the Soul Reapers. I want you to give me lots of world building and information. Please and thank you. Got a lot of the Soul Society civilians out here. Ryoka. Wow. Okay. The good thing we uh, are on cordial terms and are cool with Jidanbo. Is he? Shout out Jidanbo. Okay. He's done some mad training too. I love how the pieces of the hair clip come off. I love that aspect. She's the ultimate support. About eight episodes ago. Don't tell me that's the little kid with the mom, the parakeet. Oh, that's so cool. We're already getting cool callbacks like that. Damn, man. Because I love that parakeet episode. I was so sad. I remember Chad said, like, when I die, let me, you know, see you again in the in the afterlife or in Soul Sight, something like that. Shout out. I hope she bought I gotta see his mom too. That's a great callback. The big question is Did you get to see her? Hey, as long as you're here alive, you know. Horiyuchi. Chad's just confused like I am. Well, he probably didn't get to see his mom. 1947. That's so interesting. I like the aspect that you form family bonds with people, you know, that are just also in a similar situation. Still looking for moms. That boy Ishigo just up top chilling. Even if you go up that high, you still can't see over the gate. He's going to keep trying. Is it a great point? Bro, Chad is one of my favorite side characters for sure. 
He's so stern and rock solid and non wavering, but still so compassionate and big hearted at the same time. Oji-chan. Just like, we're never going to give up. You stay strong and don't give up as well. Yup. Can't go wrong with a pinky promise. I always think of Hunter Hunter. It's a bar right there. Even if I don't make myself known, I'm always behind you. Physically and metaphorically, whatever you do. That's that dude, man, I tell you. That's that motherfucking brother. And what would that be, Mr. Yoruishi? Ukaku Shiba. Ukaku Shiba. Why is he freaking out about her? This guy's Bandit Keith from It's a Boar. That guy looks like Bandit Keith from Yu-Gi-Oh! Ganju. Hey, we, just because we got the fire ass fit on doesn't mean we're a soul reaper, you know? Do not just casually slap us like that. Huh? So over here like huh? I feel like I recognize Ganju's voice actor self-proclaimed deep red bullet of West Rukon most likely be called big boss candidate for 14 years oh funny guy number one soul reaper hater hey we got Ishida now so I don't know if you keep that all self-proclaimed that's hilarious I 100% recognize Knuckle from Hunter x Hunter. That is 100% him. I can I can hear Bellamy too, but just with his rambunctious attitude, I hear Knuckle so much in there. That's hilarious. He does need to temper his uh his temper. He needs to steal his temper a little bit. See, this is what I was not expecting from Soul Society, especially when Rukia first let us know about it. I was not expecting such a hierarchy, such a social divide between the average souls and the Soul Reapers. I don't think he needs it with this one. Ooh, good toss. Appreciate the assistance. I love the way that bandage comes off. I mean, it's not always about the size of the dog. What sort of power is that? Okay. Anju's got a little specialities to his side. Ichigo, in terms of raw power and strength, still outclasses him immensely, though. Ooh. Liver punch, upper knee, straight throwing hands right now. This is not something I would expect to see in this show. Oh, timer's up. Man's got a cool backpack clock. It's nine already. What happens at nine? Favorite TV show comes on. That's the end of the episode? That went, these episodes are going way too fast. All right, this is the next episode. This is episode 23. I wonder why he has a time limit of 9 p.m. They're like, well, that was something. <laughs> that was a disaster. Ichigo's, I love the title card. Ichigo's a great main character, but he can get his buttons too easily pushed sometimes. That is hilarious.
But back to what Yoruichi and the Elder were talking about with was it Kokaku Shiba, something like that. Kokaku Shiba. Yes, please give us some answers. But the Elder was the Elder was kind of freaking out about it, and he said her. So I think it's a girl. I don't know. That would be cool. Another cat we can talk to. Almation's a dog, but... Whereas that's fair logic, Chad. I'm hoping it, it is a cat. Well-built man like a samurai. It's gonna be... Nothing like what they're saying. If they're getting this over-exaggerated about the possible designs, it's gonna be something you just least expect at all. It's gonna be like the, the One Piece reveal I just had yesterday. A hermit-like macho samurai with cat ears and a tail. That's it. That's gonna be it. He has to have a cape. Bro, what is up with Ishida and capes? I'm with Ishida on this one. Drag this dummy away. Was that Mr. Yoruichi? Good cat. Thank you, sir. Bakamono. To Shinshinro? There's so many terms that it's going to be so hard for me to remember because there's so many terms. Whether it's the name of the gates, whether it's the name of the gate to get to Soul Society to get to the gate, whether it's the name of the four different gates, whether it's the thing in between the two gates to get to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, goddamn. So, I, I mean, that's a recognizable house with the big ass sign and the two fists coming out of the crown. Horahime is always just a go with the flow kind of girl. I fuck with her. That is hilarious. Who are these two guys? Well, those are going to be hard names to remember. I'm going to have to write those down during editing. Alright, time we, we finally get to see what she... I assumed it was a woman. I swear they said that with the Elder. All tatted up like crazy. Okay. He's a baddie. I like her design a lot. She's a baddie. Is this are they transferring Rukia? Oh wow. Getting a wow. The way they're transferring her is insane, but getting like a top down view from high up in Soul Society looks crazy. The two tools which would be used for your execution? Sokyoku. What in the hell? That's kind of interesting world building how it's all built into that collar but like what the hell is going on he's gonna tell her that it's ichigo both of them should know who that is oh that's interesting news she's gonna be so shocked to hear that Ooh, renji's growing on me more and more god damn kukaku Hey, I need help getting into a gate, too. Alright, who's your underling gonna be? Actually, my kid brother. Ganju? There's actually no way.
I did not know Ganju was could be so polite <laughs> in certain circumstances. Who is this? Anyone? Aizen? The Aizen? I've heard the name Kenpachi before too. I did not know we'd be meeting Aizen at all. I'm curious to know so much about him. I heard I hear he's one of the most legendary anime characters of all time. But a lot of people tell me it's a meme, so. Certainly heavy crimes, but that is the real question. How do we deal with them? They, uh, okay. Who would that be? Aizen's a captain? Is it Ichimaru? Bro, this is getting crazy already. I don't want to pause it. So based off what he just said in terms of lowering the grace period, uh, a lot of the things that are outside of the norm. He said using Su Kyaku, I was, I'm horrible with names, um, on someone who's less than a captain level, is that implying that normally it's only used for executing captains who have broken heavy crimes or committed heavy crimes? So that must mean that the execution itself is something extreme or something rash. Some, hmm. uh, I'm glad we're back to this and settling this, but I'm just still so shocked. We met Aizen so early, and he's a captain of Soul Society. Ooh, that's just unfair. You can't be hitting us with nut shots. I'm like Kukaku right now. <laughs> Once you knock her pipe out. Oh. Bro, what is going on with these episodes? You what? But I mean, they did do a lot of destruction, but the ultimate destruction was you. You can destroy my house anytime you'd like, though, Mrs. I was not. I was expecting Soul Society to be very in depth, but I was not expecting to get this much world building. The amount of depth that's going on is insane. Fireworks expert. Okay, this is getting super interesting. Okay, this is the next episode. This is episode 24, final of this session. I guess when we're dealing with gates, that would probably be the best way to deal with it. How about you? Just going over it, being launched over it? Oh. Especially being a fireworks expert, that's such a creative title screen. Supersized fireworks stage. The flower crane cannon. He kind of ruined her vibe, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Ganju. The spirit core. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of those certain fundamentals yet. We're still learning. Keto, that's what, what uh, Rukia was talking about, you know. No keto at all. We're a little new to the game. It's all good. I'm having issues maintaining eye contact with Kukaku, I won't lie. For reasons. But come on, Ichigo, accept a little help. Accept a little help. Don't start this again. Don't start this again. That's why I told you not to start it again. So it turns you into like a cannonball, kind of? Yep. Spiritual partition penetration device. Okay, seems very spiritually complicated, but I have faith in you fully. Uh, 
ん地下練習場で霊力集中の練習にかかれはいはい俺は嫌だ死神の手助けをするなんてそんなの俺兄貴になんて言えばいい Big Brother Don't ever Oh, there's something deep going on there What's going on with Big Brother? I like them as siblings so far. I like Kukaku. I like Ganju, even though he's very brash. Lieutenants are to put on their badges and wait in the aides room too, because there's an emergency meeting, right? And this is getting. I'm right there with you, whoever's on seven. Seven guy. Let me see other people. Now, who is this girly? Inamori. Who is this? These are all lieutenants. Rangiku? Kitsugaya boy. Who is the woman that just walked in? I need to know who she is. Oh, she's Lieutenant of Aizen, who's Squad 5. I really like Aizen's voice actor, too. Is he something else I would recognize? Big brother died. Wow. I need to know much more about that. Died as a soul reaper. Oh, I need to know more details. Who was big brother as a soul reaper? Who killed him? There's a lot going on. So we're getting somewhat proficient at our spiritual energy concentration shout out chad is he struggling the most it's so funny how he's just naturally talented in so many other aspects of spiritual energy but this he's struggling maybe he doesn't have talent for keto specifically you know but I respect it. Gotta train double hard, especially if you're behind. He is struggling. Personal debt, you know. She saved his life, she saved his family's life, technically. Like, oh, yeah, shout out the first episode. I always respect that about you, Ichigo, and Ganju Loki respects that too. He's gonna give some reverse psychology into, into helping Ishigo. That definitely is gonna be of some assistance, you know. Shout out Ganju. Even rivals like that, you know, recognize real, recognize real. What is all this sudden shaking? Now that he's able to get the hang of it, is his spiritual energy just insane? Ichigo goes like that, isn't he? He's got a cannon fucking planet. Yep. The amount of spiritual energy he just has available to him to pour in there is unlike anyone else. But he needs to condense it. Good. Good, 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 good. Good job, Ichigo. No dinner for both of you tonight? Oh, hold. We're making considerable progress, though, so shout out. 
Ichimaru, who I believe is the one that wants Rukia dead. Especially, I think we saw him outside in the conversation with Aizen. Oh, are these all the squad captains? Oh. Shout out, black man. He looks fire. Shout out the pink kimono, whatever's going on. They look fire. Missing squad 13. He did hit him with a crazy thrust. His design is very interesting. Akudo. Is this the young genius? Squad 7? God, whoever this elder soul reaper is looks fire Aizen's digging a little deeper this alarm was very interestingly timed is it us did we already shoot through see especially with a face like that bro what does he want i'm so curious I'm so glad I'm watching four more episodes. You have no idea. You have no idea. All right. These episodes from entering Soul Society to the world building of Soul Society to developing some sort of inner political plot going on to get rid of Rukia. They're like, I don't know why I went into this show expecting because people told me in terms of action that Bleach is just like the rawest action of the big three. I don't know why for some reason that gave me a mindset that it was going to be lacking in depth and certain other aspects like from everything from seeing shibata the parakeet to the polit like i said the political scheming going on there's way more complexities and depth and just world building than i assumed there would be i don't know why i went into it with that mindset but i guess it's somewhat of a good thing because i'm just more and more shocked and in awe every episode i'm watching but like they're not afraid to like this seems like a fully developed other world and Kubo went so crazy in the names in the general areas and the social hierarchies like I'm saying I am shocked but I'm here for it huge shout out to Kukaku my new waifu of the show so far and uh Rangiku second like oh I'm um, this is gonna be an interesting show with some of these women but just seeing the squad captains their designs are incredible I am super excited to see them fight because we've only seen Byakuya and Ichimaru and especially right now our, our our local power scaler is Mr. Yoruichi and he was cool with us fighting Jidanbo who's been there for 300 years but as soon as Ichimaru came in he's like oh no we can't handle squad captains no we gotta we gotta get the hell out so I'm like if he's hyping him up like that and he knows Kisuke so I'm like it really gets me hyped it really gets me excited they said squad captain 13 is out sick like he always is so i'm curious about that they mentioned the young genius who's uh, who they he said they were squabbling like old men so there's a lot of little subtle details that i cannot wait for more especially when it comes to kukaku and big bro who died as a soul reap. like there's a lot that i want to learn and i already know that there's going to be mad foreshadowing mad teasing mad a lot going on that i'm not going to get answers for a very long time but just know i'm here for the journey i'm here for the ride Ooh, i cannot wait to learn more about keto cannot wait to learn more about the world building even though i don't want the execution to happen the sokyo sokyo ku i don't want that to happen to rukia i kind of do want someone to be executed so i can just see it because they're hyping it up a little bit you know um well like i said love the complexity love the world building loving the music there's a lot of like it it's it's dawning on me why this is one of the big three you know this is an amazing show so far i'm thoroughly invested hopefully you guys are enjoying this like i am if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below check out that patreon early access up to 16 episodes full length versions come on over to the twitch and watch this with us it's always a vibe watching this live other than that don't forget to drink some water Tell someone you love them because you never know when a hollow is going to come after them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out. Peace out.